As you know, you're going to be doing the bouncing ball this week with some of the techniques that I've talked about and some of the things going on in the tutorials I've sent to you. Uh, you'll notice that people are using jump rigs. When you're doing stop motion and you have a character that needs to lift off the ground and hover there for a moment, it always needs to be supported by a rig. There are very fancy rigs and expensive ones that are, that are ball and socket joints. Uh, then there are simple wire ones. I'm going to talk about the way to make your very own. So in your kit for working at home, you're going to have some soft plasticine clay. You're going to have uh, some spools of wire. And that's going to be the simplest way to do it. But I want to show you some other ones. So uh, this one right here I've been using for my film. And it's called a scissor jack. This thing goes for about $30 or $40 and uh, you can get it on Amazon. And what you can see is that, I'm going to move the camera a little bit, what you can see is as I crank this knob here, the platform goes up and down incrementally. So if I need to really make very, very fine adjustments to this piece, I can then just use this jack and I can slide this along so it, gets, so it looks as if it's floating through the air. Um, so this is a very expensive one. Now, a cheaper one is this one. This has been 3D printed. This is a free file I found on um, Thingiverse. I'll be able to send you links if anybody's interested. And this is printed as one piece. It's basically the same thing, but this uh, will only cost you a few dollars if you have access to a 3D printer. This is all PLA, which is very similar to plastic. It's actually made out of soy, but it has this, the very same qualities. It's a little less stable with the up and down movement, but you'll notice this one is just a little bit tighter, which is great. But your puppet's going to be on top and pressing down, so that's not a big deal. With this, I've made it a little bit fancier by adding a ball and socket armature joint to the top of it, but I've just hot glued it in place. These are very versatile, so I'm going to use it for a lot of different things. Now this... I also just added some double stick tape and I have this little block just for as a spacer, but you'll see a nice piece of wire and then this right here is um, going to be floating through the air and it's supposed to look like it's blowing in the wind. So I have put wire inside it so it's very poseable. Um, so these are a little bit more complicated and uh, take time and a little expensive. However, for you guys, you have the wire, you have the clay. And you can see a lot of the stuff that people do is really uh, down and dirty and quick, but it works really well. So you're just going to take a ball of clay that's bigger and heavier than the thing you want to float. If this is going to be the ball that you're going to want to bounce through the air, it should be smaller than the base because the base needs to kind of support the weight. So what you're going to do is twist some of your wire. You could take some of the thin stuff, and it's always good to get multiple wires and twist them. Uh, for this simple thing. Uh, we'll talk about armatures later in the semester, but this is a nice way to do it. Now you can see in this, I've covered it in green shrink wrap, and this shrink wrap, uh, being in that color, it might be easier to pick when you're painting this out when you're doing your After Effects work. So just take this and squish it into the clay and bury it, like so. And now, presto, you have your own jump rig. So this will stick to almost any surface. Now you have your bent wire. So when your character, if it's a character or if it's just a ball, you could just attach it like so. This is an oil-based clay, so it's nice and sticky. Uh, some polymer clays can be a little less sticky, but the, the plasticine is very nice. So you can see it's, it was very, very simple to be able to change and pose this and have it leave the ground. You could even remove the piece and work on it and then put it back and as long as you line it up like you can uh, in dragon frame you should have no problems doing that now if this is going in that direction and you need it to leave the ground you can lift this up and stick it back down and then the wire itself will support it now before you shoot you want to make sure that if you want it to be crisp, you want to make sure to it that it's not bouncing. But if you want it to be a little blurry, you can always add a little bit of a bounce when you're taking your frame. And sometimes blurs uh, are very effective in doing stop motion because normally it's very crisp. So that's a quick tutorial on making your own jump rig. Again, there's lots of different ways to do it. And uh, um, we could talk more about it in class. Thank you.